But we are seeing a phenomenon uh, that I have uh, never seen. Companies like GameStop and AMC have been seeing rapid growth over the past few weeks and months. So what is a short squeeze? Let's talk about it. A short squeeze occurs when a stock or other asset jumps sharply higher, forcing traders who have bet that the price would fall to buy it in order to forestall an even greater loss. Their scramble to buy only adds to the upward pressure on the stock's price. So, what companies have the potential to be in a short squeeze? So, companies that are being aggressively shorted by the quote unquote big money. This would be common retail stores, um, like for example, GameStop, uh, a business model that is based on selling video games, hard copies uh, to people in shopping malls. To malls closing down and them not adapting to e-commerce is hurting them in the long run. Uh, stores like Amazon are beating them to the chase with electronic downloads, which are instant and digital. Uh, and this is obviously a big problem for GameStop. So a lot of the big money uh, shorted them uh, and they were very aggressive in that. So they bought a lot of put options and shorts against the stock. Uh, and when the population of Reddit found out about this, uh, I'm talking about Wall Street bets, uh, they bought into the stock, causing the price of the stock to increase. Uh, and this made the short sellers worried. So they bought stock to pretty much balance out their position um, because you can't really sell a short when no one else wants to buy it because everyone was buying the stock, right? No one was really buying the short. So no one would buy the short off them. And so they had to buy stock to cover the loss uh, that they were enduring on the short position, uh, which then caused the price to just even catapult higher. Uh, and this is what the squeeze is called. So when you have the small influx of a buyer, or when, when buyers come in, uh, against the short sellers and then the short sellers have to then buy in to cover their short. This is when the squeeze happens. This is why it's like short squeeze. Um, the short being sh the shorters and the squeeze happening when they buy in. So this squeeze moves them into atmospheric territory. So now that we've talked about what a short squeeze is, how do we identify it? Like how do we find the next short squeeze? How do we find the next AMC or the next GameStop? Um, it's easier than you may think. Again, look for companies that have an outdated business model. This is uh, like brick and mortar stores that have, you know, seen a decrease in sales over the past 10 years, but that have a brand name. Having a brand name is very important. Step three, do your research. Find companies that are uh, currently in the press for obscure reasons. And finding articles online that are backed by big money is very common. Unfortunately, this is a very common occurrence and it's also a good thing to look out for. If you have an aggressive short seller, chances are they are putting out bad press in order to lower the stock price. Step number four, you want to look on how the company is reacting to this bad press. So you see this bad press coming out, but the price isn't dropping. Chances are it's not a short squeeze. If the price is dropping, it also might not be a short squeeze, but if the opposite reaction is happening, you might be seeing the beginning and early days of a short squeeze, potentially. Keep a close eye on the stock. If the stock moves up higher and starts picking up its pace uh, and the volume starts increasing, you may be seeing a short squeeze. And this would be the good time to get in before the big bounce happens. After you buy in, one of two things will happen. Either it wasn't a short squeeze and you just bought into a dying company that is probably gonna go bankrupt, or two, it is a short squeeze, in which case you might make a lot of money when the short sellers have to buy and cover their position. So, this is not financial advice, but good luck.